This right now, John, Yours. is a historic moment in this podcast. We already said Rafa was coming back. No, no, no. Hold on. More historic. More historic than that. More historic. Than a that. double huh huh. Oh, oh, it was an accident. The mm-hmm. that shit double pressed. More historic, John. So we, if you've been a long time listener for this show, a long time listener mm-hmm. of, our, of our of our playing pod with Alex and John. We have dedicated the better half of, I think, maybe nine to ten <laughs> podcasts with updating you on a certain movie, movie on a certain film, on a certain piece of cinematic history. Yeah. Because at this point, it's cinematic history. Whether, whatever, whether you what, like yeah. it or not. Yeah, it is cinematic history. It is the one movie that is going to single-handedly dictate if movie theaters have a history in the post-COVID era. Yep. This movie holds the life force, <laughs> life force, the fuck, the, 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 the life of m- movie theaters and that experience as we know it in their hands. Yeah. And, and, and it sounds like I'm over-exaggerating. I'm not. No. I'm really not. New Mutants wasn't going to do it. Uh, I forgot uh, that That unhinged out. Russell Crowe movie wasn't going to do it. I heard that shit was ass, which, I mean, like, Qu- let's be real. Content aside. Quality of it aside. It's going to be none other than the Christopher Nolan's Tenet. Yes. Tenet. We saw it. Finally. We. The way Christopher Nolan intended. The way God himself intended with a face mask. <laughs> yep. So what we did, right, because we there's no way in fuck we were going to go into a theater with no. random ass people coughing and shit and farting. Uh, no, thank you. I do fart. No, thank you. But random people. Yeah, you know, not that. You know my farts. So our local theater, uh, is from the Cinemark chain, has sponsors. You know, no, yes, yeah, please, please sponsor us. I'm not saying they are sponsoring us, no, but, but they should because I do. I spend a lot of money at y'all and place, I love y'all and I love y'all. So anyway, um, they had the book your own private party thing. Obviously, movie theaters need you to come in. I was looking at the show times. People like the the people that are buying. You know, you can see the reserved seatings. Right. Nobody empty that's rough and we went friday night 8 15 we went we booked the private uh showing room and like before you you know when you think that you're like oh it's expensive it wasn't that expensive at all it's when you not divide that bad we got we got together maybe 12 people and when we divided it up it was on a, we spent probably this the price of a regular movie ticket mm-hmm. but we had the whole auditorium to ourselves yep and obviously it's, it's a it's thing. a way to get people into the theaters they need it they, and then you get con- discounts on concessions they need you to spend money low-key I prefer it this Dude, way. I I prefer it this way. Uh, let's talk about the experience first. Uh, so Cinemark, they are right now. They're advertising that they're clean, like they're doing the clean standard. They're they're setting the bar for the movie theater cleaning. Uh, right. F- in the COVID era, you know, disinfecting all that good stuff. I when I first saw the video, because I was doing research before we walked up in there, because I wasn't about to lift my li- lift my rice, risk my life <laughs> for uh for tenant, you know. Um, we did. We did. We yeah, sure we did. We risked it, but. I was gonna do. I was gonna be educated about it. Um, you know, the, the CEO came out, did a video saying, "Hey, we're gonna clean, clean." I'm not sure marketing, whatever. You need to say these things. Right. When we walked up in there. I believed it. I 100 percent believed it. Yeah, they did a lot. That was really nice. Yeah, they they set it up really nice. There's stations to disinfect and stuff. Like literally every like four There's feet. Hand sanitizers in every corner. Yep. Before you even get to the, your actual auditorium, th- they they have a sign that says like, "Hey, we hard clean and disinfect these seats." But. After every showing, yeah. but if you're still unsure, take your own disinfecting wipes and wipe that shit down yeah. yourself. And they offer it, like and they, they and it's right there, right there for you underneath the sign, disinfecting wipes for you yeah. to disinfect. And your they shit. say, don't bring your own shit. Like we have it, so you just pick up the wipe, wipe your seat down, which we did. Which That's I did. Exactly. Yeah. And then you have to wear your mask, obviously, except for the when you're eating something. I jammed that. Sh- I jammed my hot dog right through my mask. Yeah. So, I ate mask. Yeah, I drank. I drank. I was eating M and M's under I the mask. I literally cut a hole in my mask you and I just jammed my straw in there. And I just got left the straw it. in. And I just okay, but so the experience itself was great. I recommend if you have friends. <laughs> Damn, if you have friends or family. If you don't, I get yeah, them. Obviously, if if you're going by yourself, depending on the movie, I think ours was a little more pricey due to the uh, the fact that it was a new release movie. Right. Because uh, it was Tenet. It came out that day. Uh, it it it, I'd, it came out. It was like 170 bucks for the whole thing. Yes. Once you divide it up, we spent like maybe 14 bucks per person. Mm-hmm. That's not bad at all. And concessions, what like that discounted concessions? Oh, that was crazy. Uh, one of our friends, he got like a large soda. I think maybe candy and like some other thing. Ten bucks. That's dude. That that's nothing ridiculous. 
I got I got a large soda and a, and a and M&Ms. I spent four four or five bucks. I I got a couple of things because I, I was getting like hot dogs, I had candy, yeah. and then like a large ass water, about twenty bucks. Yeah, but I which mean, is nuts. what I would spend. Which how much the large soda and the fucking hot dog would be? Yeah, you would. Yeah, but point is, really great deal. If you have a Cinemark location by you and they do this, I recommend. It. I if would you take full. I would just take full. Was it not responsibility? Um. Advantage. Yeah, take, take advantage, take advantage of that. because once this gets out, people are gonna start doing it. It's gonna be harder to get um, yeah. a movie in. Uh, anyway, that aside, you know, for shout out to them, that was a really great experience. I want to awesome. do it again. I want to do it again. I watch it again. No, yeah, but um, Mulan. No, nah, fuck that. Uh, but now nah, let's let's talk about the shit. Let's talk about. Let's talk about, let's talk about the shit. Let's talk about Senate, man. It it, it it happened. I, <laughs> I was so happy. I was so like when we sat down because it's been we, we usually we. Pre COVID, we went to the theater damn near weekly. We would we, watch all the movies. Yeah, we would be at the theater weekly. Every Thursday night, we'd be at the Twas theater. It was a tradition. For, yeah. And uh, we didn't even think twice. We just went. Yep. Uh, regardless if we wanted to see the fucking movie or not, you know, we would go because that's what we did. Um, so when we sat down at the theater, man, I was like, it felt nice. Yo, I missed this. Like, this yeah. was amazing. The mask was fucking annoying a little, for a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But I was, I was with it. I was like, yo. Um, we're b- this is awesome. I, I hope I hope we can do this again normally. Yeah, relatively soon. Then you know we're watching the trailers. I'm like, hell yeah, dude! Mm-hmm. Movie theater. <laughs> that was me in the seat. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I got John in the road down there. Yeah, I got my boys. Rafa's back there somewhere. He's way know. in the back yelling Hector and shit from the bento box cast. They're both up there literally talking yelling about anime. and shit. You're literally being fucking animals. You people don't know how to act. <laughs> Uh, before the movie, not Hi, during. John. That's all I heard in the back. Hi, John. Yeah, they behaved during the movie, though. They were good. I was, I was excited. Or, I, I was happy. Well, I can't. I don't know because it's gonna. We're gonna get into it. Yeah. But like the, it was just so loud. I <laughs> couldn't hear shit. And I'm glad it was loud because I couldn't hear them in the back if they were talking. And so if they were speaking full volume, yeah. I don't know shit. But anyway, let's talk about the movie itself. Uh. But b- before we talk about that, though, uh, it came an article came out saying that Tenet had audio issues, meaning you couldn't understand a lot of it. Uh, they say about I think forty percent of the audio you can't understand. Mm-hmm. I did. I glad I saw that article beforehand, because had I walked into that movie blind and not seen that article, I would have been fucking livid. Yeah. I saw the article. It's true. the The movie is sometimes very, very difficult to understand. Uh, I don't know what the fuck happened there. It just seems like the mixing is off. Yeah, the mix was super off. The music was really loud, and there are sequences where they have masks or something covering their faces, and you can't understand. Well, you can, but you have to really pay attention um, to understand. It's like they did not learn anything from Bane. Yeah, they did the same thing they did with Bane, which was like they did uh, audio dub recordings. Yeah, but they kept the fucking mask on while recording or whatever. But, you know... So I, I'm going to get on a little tangent here. Uh, I went to go watch The Dark Knight Rises on Netflix or something yes. like that. And Bane is really loud now. Yeah, he's always been. like No, I'm saying like loud as fuck. Yeah. Like to the point where it's breaking the immersion of it. Like he's loud. And he's the, yelling. And they were doing that. And in, in, it sounded like that in this too where like these characters who were wearing masks or like gas masks or anything like that. They just sounded above everyone else. Yeah. And so but, that you could muffled. hear them. Yeah. But like muffled, but yeah. louder than everybody. And it's like, I, either way, I still couldn't hear what yeah. the hell you said. I, I understood. I'm not going to, I'm not fronting. I'm not trying to be cool. Like Rafa thought I was. I understood. Like, yes, the movie, but I also understood a good 95% of the audio, of the dialogue. There I, was, there was some that I just could not fathom, but. Watching the movie and paying close attention, I was able to gather what the fuck they were talking about. Yeah, but you know, it's 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 unfortunate that this movie's played with that because it is a relatively tough movie to understand. There, uh, like, hey man, y'all thought Inception was complicated. Uh, I would go on a limb and say that this is a little more complicated. I disagree. Oh, well, I would say at the end. So what happened was that at the end, I was like, do. I actually know what I think I know. Like, yeah. I have a conclusion in my brain. Yeah. But is that right? Like, it turns out I was right. Like, oh, okay. I, I did. Un- turns out I did understand the movie, but I, based on the, like, sometimes you just couldn't hear what people were saying. Yeah. I would have to go off context clues yeah. based off what the hell. And, and the actual structure of the movie, I was like, uh, do I know what the hell 
I'm watching. Yeah. Do I did did I understand what the hell happened? So I did. Yeah. But it I will say it's a lot harder to understand what the hell's going on because of the sound mixing. Yeah. Like one, the concept itself is is pretty complex yes. in nature. Yes. So a lot of exposition has to be said for you to just understand what the hell is going on. Yeah. Um but because of sometimes the audio or the music is way louder than the person speaking, some of it can get lost. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I kind of filled in the gaps based on the action sequences and what they showed, which helps a lot. So the, I, I would say, like, with that, the movie does a good job of showing and telling. Yes. E- especially when the telling part, you can't fucking right. hear it. When it's all showing. Yeah. So the showing helped a lot. Yeah. The trailer didn't help me shit. No, but... but I man, so the movie, uh, the yeah, audio issues aside, we I had we had to open up with that because it's it's like the elephant in the room. It's really yeah. the issues are there. I'm not gonna deny them. Especially if you want to see Tenant yeah. and or anything like that, it's you should know going in yeah. what the blatant issues are. Yeah, it's it, 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 it's and it's it can it's be blatant. It can be very. So um, I go. I tell you, if you're gonna watch it, make sure to pay extra attention. Yeah. Because every detail that you can catch, you're going to need. I'm talking, I'm, and I'm saying, I'm not just saying audio. I'm saying visually too. Yeah. Pay attention to the music because we had a conversation uh, with the people that we went with, and they they didn't realize that the music was doing stuff to the story too. Yes, I was realizing this halfway through. Yeah. And I was like, "Is it a spoiler to say?" Mm, kinda. I'd rather like let's leave it how they left. Okay. It. Well, they didn't say anything. We're not gonna say anything. Okay, we'll have this conversation after the yeah. fact. I don't. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Unless you, unless you want to say we bleep it. No, I don't want. No, because then, because then I have to go look for a bleep and I want to. Yeah, but that I did notice certain things, and and as far as that point, like sound mixing aside, structure of movie, it's pretty awesome, dude. It's Christopher Nolan at his most Christopher Nolan esque. It's like the craziest shit. Like yeah. the, he ain't lost. He didn't lose a step. No, he did not. No, he did not. He and did I not mean, lose I, a step. I, you know, we we kind of trashed him a little bit for saying, oh, it has to be experienced in the theater. Uh, I'm no, glad I did. Yeah, you kind of, you definitely do. I'm kind of yeah. glad I did because, y- like, this movie, no interruptions, nothing can be bothering you because you won't get it. <laughs> yeah, you won't. You will not it. get it. And yeah. I maybe that's what the fuck he meant was like. You at the house, you got all these distractions right. and shit. You will not understand it. I barely, I was, cons- I was talking to myself like, did I get this at the theater? Yeah, you were. <laughs> you were. And like, I literally asked people, I'm like, wait, is this it? And they're over here like, you're stupid. I'm like, wait, no, please. No, yeah, we were talking shit outside. But I will say we went with a group of 11, 12 people. I would say that maybe five of them didn't understand it. Yeah. Like at all. Didn't understand it. Because uh, it has to do with time. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, but the movie, the, the trailer kind of said that. Y- yes. Well, kind of. The It has to do with what they call Tread lightly. In, inversion. Okay. Is what but, they that, but, it's I, but it's time. Yeah, it's time where like. It. Time moves backwards. Yeah, that's it. Don't you? And forward at the same time yeah, or some shit. That's it. But like, uh, like other than that, I can't get into it without spoiling yeah. it or getting into the stuff that the, the yeah. you don't find out later on. But I'll, I'll say, okay. So this, this is my uh, my review of it. I loved it. I I understood it, Rafa. I really did understand it because uh, he's you know I, when we were talking. Granted, I was being very boy. Uh, what is it? Um, what's that word? Like not boisterous, but. I was being extra. I was being extra. I, you know, I was calling. Arrogant? I was not arrogant. I was. I was being over the top. An purpose. asshole. Y- y- sure. Uh, yeah. Because they they didn't understand it, but they were talking about it like, oh, this movie sucks because I understand. You know, because it didn't make any fucking sense. And, you know, they we do that as as a, as a group of friends. We do that. So naturally, I turn it up to them. Like, you guys are fucking idiots. But you know, in you the way call I me do stupid. it. I was like, I'm not stupid. You're stupid. So, but it, like all jo- all jokes aside, I really did understand the, uh, the movie. It wasn't super complicated. Turns out I did understand it. So. I enjoyed it. I loved it a lot. I wanted to see it again immediately. Uh, I still want to see it again. I don't want to go back to a theater, though, to see it. Well, unless we were able to pull that off If again. we were able to do it again, that'd be yeah. cool. But uh, I, I, this movie is one of those where you have to watch it again and again to one well, to get it, uh, like, to get it, yeah. But the way it's structured, the answers are in front of you. And you don't even realize And you it. don't know it yeah. until at the end they tell you the answers are in front of you. Yeah. Um, so I just want to go back and see those answers with these new eyes that I have now that I've purchased. So I'll say, <laughs> I'll say, if you're a fan of Christopher Nolan and the work that he does, 
you're gonna love this movie. It is a Christopher Nolan yeah. through and through, through and through. Now, if you're not a big fan of his movies, or you know, you know, you don't really want a complicated film, maybe stay away, because yeah. it's not for you. This it's isn't. A, you. This is not a mindless like no, uh, whatever the fuck movie like unhinged got your ass. Boom, Russell. Crow. No, this this you need to pay attention. You need to you need to be engaged the entire yeah. Uh, all your senses need to be engaged. You need to taste this film for you to get it. Yeah, because like it's, you need it's, to hear everything. Deep. You need to see everything. Yeah. Little things that you like confused about get answered later on. Yeah, like little details. Little details yeah. mean are the big things. So again, it's not a. I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and say everybody needs to watch it. They don't. This movie is not for everybody. I will say, if you were curious about it, then. Go forward with that curiosity and check it out. Yeah, you won't be disappointed. You, you might not under, You might not hear anything. Uh, yeah. You might not hear people you, talk. You might get a few haws, yeah, but... Like, what the fuck did he say? But it's... it's. I loved it. I loved it. I think it was worth it. I understand why he was so adamant about showing it in theaters because, yes, w- even though the mixing was a little bad, um, well, that's an understatement, but even though the mixing was like that, I did enjoy being in that world. Yeah, like I enjoyed being in that world. I enjoyed how loud. I enjoyed just being immersed because the loudness of it, and all of it, added to it. I me. was in it. Yeah, dude, I shit you not. When the movie ended and the trailer rolled and Rafa opened his goddamn mouth and started booing in the back, I forgot you guys were in that theater with us. Yeah, I forgot too. Like I looked over at Renee. I was like, "Yo, I forgot they were there." I wasn't even joking. Like I'm like, "Yo, I forgot we were in a theater with our friends." I, don't I was know if it's so just, into it. I don't know if it was just been so long since we've just been to a theater or whatever. Like I, I was like. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I was just talking. To, I was just talking to my girlfriend the whole time, just like, "Hey, uh, like, do you fucking get what the hell's going on?" It, it was it was just cool, like having to like put the p- puzzle pieces together yeah. and all that shit. The the set pieces are unique, bro. They unique. Were, they he did some stuff in his movie that I don't Dude, even. There was a the fight scene. I'm not gonna talk about it. Yeah. They showed it a little bit in the trailer. I was confused. And then later on down the line, I was like, holy shit. Like, that's awesome. Yeah. I, that is so the, cool. The, like, I, the only thing I was confused about, and not, not, what the, what, not what was happening, because there's something happens in that fight that I caught that they showed later on. Uh huh. That I'm like, oh, okay. So they, and they even said something. Like, it's really hard to be vague about it without spoiling anything. But that fight scene and that, the explaining that situation. They said something and showed something in two different places that allowed me to put it together. I'm like, oh, uh-huh. I, know, I know what's happening here. Um, but ju- what I was confused about, like, how the fuck did they film that? Right. Like, what? I, I want to say something, but I, I don't know if I can. But let's just say two directions were were happening at the same time, and it was fucking crazy to see. Just do the just do the hand gesture that they did. This was happening during that fight scene. It's when you interlock fingers. Yeah, this was happening in that fight scene. I'm interlocking my fingers, and I. I do not even like. I could not fathom how they filmed that. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Know. And even and even some of the sequences where this was happening, I was like, "How the fuck? Yeah, did there, you film that? That was some cool shit going on." Yeah, but like that's how they ex- like literally the way they explain it is just like they say the word tenant, yeah. which is like what the character is. Yeah, and then they do the hand gesture like this. Like this. Also, he doesn't have a name. He did not He's the protagonist. Name. That's it. He doesn't He's have a name. He's the protagonist. Yeah, he doesn't have a name. Also, another thing that uh, about I, I don't know his name in particular, but he's Denzel uh, Washington. John David Washington. I John David Washington. I think. Let me let me double check that. But yeah, because My, we need to learn that man's name. God damn it! I've seen him in too much to not know his yeah. name. John David Washington. And he's Denzel Washington. It's John David. Kid. It's John, John David. David okay, yeah. John, Mr. John Washington. Um. Did you feel like he was charming and bland at the same I time? I thought you were asking him that. <laughs> I was like, what oh, the well, fuck? I'm sorry. J- John David Washington, do you feel like you are charming <laughs> and bland at the same time? It's, he, it's a very unique persona that he has. Because like, he does have both. He does have that Denzel, but he also has that like quirky... like Okay, because I saw him in Black Klansman. Yeah, he was great. So the way he spoke... It's how he speaks. It's like that's how he speaks. So like when he's sp- when he's sp- speaking like just serious yeah. talk, it doesn't s- like it, it doesn't um it just didn't come off genuine to me. Yeah. But then like w- then the charm would be there. Yeah. In which I I've, I've seen him in like Ballers and in Black Klansman. So I'm like I know he's got the acting chops. Also he's Denzel's fucking son. Yeah. Which doesn't always mean that it'll translate the talent, but, but it did. But it it does because yeah. like I've seen him in other roles. I know he does good shit. Yeah. But I'm like, why is he so bland in this? And then it's I, I don't know if it's just like 
But then maybe it's just that's how he speaks, and I'm just not used to it. Yeah, he's he's a very, he has a very particular uh, peculiar way of enunciating, and just the way he carries himself in certain lines. Yeah, yeah. But I I love him. Like I don't I don't care. I I love him the way I, he acts. No, I love he has him. A, he has a certain swag about him. Like that's yeah. just like it's just so him. I, Dude, I he's got like a walk. Yeah, Did it's a walk. walk. The fucking walk. He's a fucking walk. That walk is uh, that walk is great. I'm like you have so much swag for what you do. Right for your height because you're like four two or something. Jesus. <laughs> No, he's great. I, I love him. He's, he's, no, I lo- he's I, cool. Like, uh, protagonist side, like that that first little thing bugged me. At, but other than that, like I liked him. Yeah. Uh, the movie's confusing until you get to the end. And even then. And even then, yeah. I was all still confused, as I said. But I I like that movie. I, it's one of those movies that I want to see again to see if I truly got it. Yeah. Or just ask me. I got it. No, I don't want to listen to you, stupid idiot. I'll tell you. I don't want to listen to you, stupid idiot. No, you didn't get it. Idiot. Okay. IQ of a Although I might banana. have to ask you again just to be safe. You're not, you have the IQ of a banana. 